Hey guys, welcome back to my favorite acne treatments. Today I'm talking about tretinoin. Oh yes, the gold standard. So tretinoin has been around for a very long time, but the reason it's so amazing is because we're basically putting into the skin the active retinoid in its most useful format. And tretinoin interacts with all the key retinoid receptors, so you're getting both a nice effect on the epidermis in the dermis and also in the pilus sebaceous unit, which is the hair follicle. So it has four key actions. The most important, I think, is that it normalizes keratinization. So it stops those sticky skin cells from clogging up the opening of your pores, keeping pores clear, preventing comedone. So it's an excellent acne preventer. It's also useful as an anti-inflammatory agent and it reduces the appearance of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation but as an added benefit, also downgrades the activity of the matrix metalloproteinases, and that means less acne scarring. Downsides, it's definitely potentially irritating. So if you're on the sensitive side, it may well be useful to start with a lower potency retinoid first and graduate up to tretinoin when you're ready. It also sensitizes skin to sunlight, so daily SPF is an absolute must, and it's not to be used during pregnancy. It's available in both a gel and a cream and available in percentages from 0.025% up to 0.1%. Tretinoin is definitely my favorite retinoid when I'm looking to really not only diminish the acne, but to make the most of the complexion and improve the consequences of ongoing acne. And I tend to use it at night, as you do generally with retinoids, ideally on to cleanse skin, but if that's not possible because your skin is sensitive, feel free to buffer first with moisturizer. Your retinoid will still be active. And feel free again to put another layer of moisturizer over the top if needed. Start off with a pea-sized amount, build up from every other night to daily use over time. And if you can, build up to a full fingertip quantity using the 13 dot technique. Bottom line, it's awesome stuff for acne sufferers. It really can take them from the headspace of being someone who's been stuck with a tedious, upsetting skin condition into the realm of someone who genuinely can get compliments on their skin. It can make that big a difference. It really is a game changer and it really is worth the journey to get your skin established on it. Hope that was helpful, guys. Um, I may do some more if there are other ingredients that you really want me to do a deep dive into. So I look forward to seeing your comments on this one. But if not, I hope you found this little series helpful. Hit like and subscribe if that's so, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.